Hey guys, it's your boy. We're back with more Mouse content. Today, we are talking about a post that just got posted. I saw the link on those line groups. People have been posting all those links and I just got interested in let's see. Let's go to the forums and check what uh, there is to come for us. And we have a new system, Transcend Potential. Now, I'm not going to be talking about the August update stream and stuff. We all know that that is going to happen. And the third sneak peek, which could be the Kamala Khan new uniform. But we have a new system, Transcend Potential, so it's not a new game mode. Let's see what exactly it is. This is CM Fragment of Marvel Feature Fight. The, up the upcoming August update will introduce the Transcend Potential system, where potential awakened heroes can be upgraded. Okay, so potential awakened heroes can be upgraded. Other potential awakened heroes will be added and the existing potential awakening system will also be reworked or uh, okay. This is actually interesting. Potential awakening skills currently only only inflict strong effects for a short period of time. Okay, we know that. Also, most potential awakened characters are not being used very often as their original stats are low. Definitely. Uh, when you awaken a, uh, awaken a character like Beta Ray Bill, you get him to level 70. When you put the awakened skill on him, it only gives you extra skill. It does not give you any boost to your base stats. HP, defense, all defense. Uh, attack or anything else it does not give you any of those stats so it will be really good if they can add some of that therefore we are preparing to increase the usability of potential awakened heroes through the transcend potential update after the update the potential awakened heroes stats will be increased to near to those of the tier 3 heroes and once transcend potential has been achieved this is gonna be crazy <laughs> so we are gonna be having on those uh, characters that we already have uh, awakened or we are going to awaken they will get a stat boost just a little under the tier 3 hero stat boost so yeah we'll we'll be see we'll see how it goes changes due to the addition of transcend potential transcend potential is available once a hero uh, hero's potential awakening skill is at level 6 so we need to get that awakened skill the 6 skill to level 6 their characters gear are all at 25 so it will have the uh, requirement just like the tier 3 skill heroes and all required materials are prepared once transcendence potential is applied agents will be able to experience stronger hero performance compared to those of the previous potential awakened skill so once we get to the next phase of the awakening, so first of all, you will have to do the awakening thing first, and then you will work on the transcend potential. And I mean, definitely getting the stats of your heroes and getting the damage from your heroes better and better as you go through. Now, transcendence potential resource required. It will leave 200 gem fragments, mandala gem. So this is not too much. Awakening crystals only 100 and then 500,000 gold. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is so, so cheap. This is really cheap. This is really good. Required resources are based on a normal character standard and amount of resources may vary depending on each character. What it means is that we have certain characters like Mystique. We have certain characters like Dr. Octopus. And then, then we have certain characters like Beta Ravel, which is a native tier 2, which I think costs 2,500, 2, oh, sorry, 1,500 Mandela Gem fragments. Uh, when I awakened him so he's gonna uh, cost maybe a little bit more than these standard values this is just for the normal ones so but that's definitely okay even if it costs like 300 uh, Mandela Jam fragment more and maybe 200 awakened crystals that's okay at uh, that's actually definitely okay and maybe a million gold I think uh, if the stats additional system is applied to the current awakened balance it might cause an overbalance compared to other heroes and deter gameplay therefore we also decide to undergo awakened skill effect rebalancing okay this is interesting please understand that the performance of some heroes may become weaker if transcendence potential has not been undergone after the next update so what it means is like we have better able uh, whose awakened skill is amazing some of the stats and the power level of the six skill will get reduced and to get that power level exactly how it was and uh, get additional bonus from your stats you will have to apply transcendent uh, transcend potential to that hero or the awakened skill right now as you're using so just suppose i'm melting on stage 99 i'm melting five bars after the update, it is possible that we will only be able to melt like three bars. 
then if I use the certain materials that will be needed for the transient potential, then after I upgrade him, it will be actually much better, maybe to six or seven bars or maybe higher because of the uh, awakened skill damage increase as well as the base stash damage increase for my better able. So that's really nice. Once transcendence potential has been proceeded, a hero's stats have been increased. The hero's performance will near to that of a tier three hero. Well, to be honest, right now, the performance of a awakened character is almost as good as tier three. Although it's not the case for certain game modes like a high end PVP or high end ABX. World Boss Ultimates is another thing because they perform like super, super better than tier three characters. Although the, the stats and the performance of the awakened skill characters will get to almost almost as equal to the tier three heroes in all of the game modes, which will be amazing, which will give us more flexibility of using those heroes. We understand changing the balance of the provided content due to an issue with the course of our early plans can be confusing. Yes, a little bit. So as a token of our apology, the following measures will start from the August update until the next update. Transcend potential free, what? Transcend potential free of charge. Whoa, oh my God. You can commence transcend potential without spending awakening crystals, mandalay gem fragments and the, and the gold. The, this only will apply to the existing 10 potential heroes. So before this update, whoever you have awakened, already awakened, you can uh, use the transcend potential for free. So if you have better able like me, I have better able six, six awakened. I can, uh, I can actually transcend potential him for free. It will not cost me anything, which is amazing. So definitely go and go and uh, go and actually awaken your better able right now. Discount on upgrading uh, character gears 21 to 25. Oh my God. This is also nice to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Discount is really nice tokens which can be used instead of the previous character gear upgrade materials will be available for purchase. One gold. Wow. Through the store. So we can uh, purchase all of those materials through the one, just one gold. Oh, that's really, that's really good. This will only apply to the existing 10 potential heroes. Uh, Blue Dragon, War Tiger, Shadow Shell, Sunbird, Do uh, Dr. Octopus, Red Skull, Mystique, Red Guardian, Beta Ray Bill, and Hulk Amidius Cho, of course. Agents rewards for changing the system. Rewards will be given based on a potential awakened heroes average character gear level. So rewards will be given depending on your average level or the average gears for your potential awakened heroes like my better able. If the gears are 22, it will be given depending on the average that you have on those gears. Reward for each gear level. Now character gear average level and rewards. So we have over average level 20 less than or equals to average level 21. So around 20 to 21, we will get 50 blank anti matter, 10 Titan components pack, 10 essence of dimension and a thousand uh, and a hundred thousand gold. This could have been definitely better. If we have the averages from 21 to 28 for a gear for the four gears, it will give you 70, 30, 30 and so on and so on. But we are also getting mythic Urus uh, with with them, which is really nice. And for le if you have some of the gears for your awakened character around uh, 24 or 25, definitely 24, you will get 300 black anti matter, 150 essence of dimension and titan components pack, 1.5 million gold and three mythic urus, which is I think great. Which is definitely great. We should not be bothering about this stuff because we are getting more stuff for free. Also, definitely if you don't have materials for those characters already, you will feel that we are going to spend more materials, but it's not going to be like that. And for players that have those warriors of the sky or some other people like uh, Mystique, uh, you need to have those gears maxed out, right? So if you have those gears maxed out, you are getting the, uh, the, the material for free. So that's a free material that you can use on other awakened character that you already have and you don't have the awakened or sorry, you don't have the gears for. So this, this can be actually used, uh, vice versa. So this is, a, this is an example. So we, we will just uh, apologize. So we apologize for any potential inconveniences regarding the potential awakening system. And we will do our best to continue providing fun gameplay, uh, game experience to our agents. Thank you. So yeah, this looks interesting. This is really, really interesting. So for Mystique, Phoenix Feather will be given instead of rank one black antimatter. So if you have an X-Men hero that is actually 
that is actually a awakened character you will get x-men materials for that and depending on whatever it is for titan components pack and for the normal characters like red guardian or beta rabel as well you will get black antimatter and stuff which is nice i won't say this is a bad thing because we are getting more and more of those titan components packs although it will be uh, actually a little bit of you can say it will be interesting to see how much the character's value goes down because right now you can see the warriors of the sky we have ac metas for killing like they can kill thanos they can get a lot of meta teams pretty easily if you have them all awakened and then for pve we have mystique which is actually the abx queen for speed female day as well as the speed uh sorry the female super villain day with the cdp of rage right now i have 25 25 25 25 so my average for my mystique is gonna be 24 i'm gonna get the last reward so which is gonna be amazing because i'm i already have the gears and the materials that i will get i can use or maybe save them for a future character or I can use towards these some of these characters because my beta reveal is 25, 20, 21, 20. So I don't really need it. Although if I need it for a future character, uh, then maybe I will be able to use those materials on. So it's interesting. It's a little bit confusing, but don't get confused. Don't get blown away by the text. The text was a little bit much. The simple thing that you want to know as a summary is going to be the, the transcend potential system will be applied uh, from now on depending on when they will give the rewards they have not said when they will actually give the rewards to you but they should appear in the probably in your inbox after a patch they will do a patch after that patch till the update till the update lands if you have like i have the awakened beta rebel six skill is maxed out right some of the stats or some of the damage from the six skill will actually be cut it out although uh, as i already have my beta rebel awakened I will have the transcend awakening for free so I can do it just for free and I, I can get the maxed out out of my beta rebel without spending any more materials which is amazing so if you have any of your awakened characters if you are actually planning to awaken any of your characters you should do it now I th at, at least I think so because they said they are gonna be uh reworking the potential awakening system so for beta rebel it took me 1500 mandarin gem fragments i think thousand or uh, 1250 i don't remember awakening crystals and some other stuff like maybe black antimatter if i if i'm not wrong so it did take me that although it's not sure if they're gonna decrease that amount of resources that it takes to awaken or they are just gonna decrease the uh they're just gonna decrease the amount of resources for after update so for now, at least for now, the thing that is sure is that whatever 10 characters that we have awakened, these three, these three, we have other characters as well, like uh, uh, like Red Skull, you can awaken them right now if you want to. It's not a must, must uh, do it thing. So if you can awaken now, which definitely means that Mystique might, uh, Mystique will be able to get more ABX score now from now on from the after the awakened transcend is done and beta ray will be stronger stronger than ever although I'm still interested of seeing how beta ray will, will do in ABX after that because he is really good he can score around 4 million to 5 million I think on a really good build with the CDP of rage if I'm not wrong I am really excited to see how he will do in ABX and <laughs> talking about PvP these guys also all already can destroy Thanos and other stuff. How can I mean how more powerful they can be? So let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about this transcend potential stuff. A new system that is gonna be able uh, that is that is actually gonna be uh, in the game after a patch applied, and you can actually do that for free. So I would do I would just say whatever characters you have awakened, like I have these three characters, I'm gonna awaken and I'm gonna transcend potential them all of them because it's gonna be all for free. So let me know what you think about that. And as always, if you like the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. See ya.